Hello and welcome my squirrels with no nut. This, my friends, is Blunarius. From the swampy depths, Blunarius appears, the inflator awakens. Okay, so what is this guy? How do we beat him? Today I'm going to go over everything you need to know about Blunarius, the boss balloons, and of course, how to beat all the way up to, including, tier 5 of Blunarius. <laughs> All right, this guy is funky fresh, but it's going to be fun, guys. Trust me on this. We're going to have a good time. So uh, what I did was I decided to just go through, play all the way up until round 40 to see how he's going to work against us so I could learn. And now I'm going to teach you guys from my experience here. And trust me, we're going to go all the way up to level 5 here, tier 5. We're going to beat him. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So the number one thing you're going to do and realize is that money is going to be the number one thing on your mind right now. You don't want to think about lives. You don't want to think about shield lives. You don't want to think about anything else besides just that juicy money. Now, to understand when this boss balloon is going to come out, all you got to do is look at the top here. You're going to say, oh, he's going to come in 37 rounds. So we have to prepare. Basically, instead of a Moab coming out, we're going to fight the boss balloon, Blunarius. So the number one thing I'm going to recommend to you guys is get your banana farms flowing, like right now. All right, get them going. Trust me, you're going to want early game banana farms because you're going to want that extra juicy money to flow into your pockets for the rest of the game. And like I said earlier, don't think that lives are actually going to matter here. They don't. If you lose 20, 40, 50, 100, even if you lose 149 lives here, it's basically irrelevant. Okay, lose them up, get that farms going, and then you can have a good fight against Blunarius when it's ready to come out here. So just to be straight with you guys, you can tell you're doing a good job. We've only got 25 rounds left in this little balloon area. So I'm going to talk about how farms work, how money works, and how you're going to end up having the most money you can possibly have. But the main thing you're going to notice here is that on a round like round 15, which is a normally very difficult round here, we should either barely lose lives or lose none at all. Uh, but we don't mind losing a few here and a few there. I want that to be really important again. That's something that I, I think a lot of people are going to underestimate. But if you really want to be cray-cray... Honestly, now is the time. You've earned these guys for the past several years. If you're not using your random extra monkeys down here, you should. Okay? If you're ever struggling at all, if you want to do it with skill, well, go ahead. Use do, do, use some skill here and let, let's have some fun. Now, we're on round 18 here. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one boomerang at this point. Just because I'm, I'm realizing we're going to start to struggle a little bit against some of these bigger group balloons and everything. Especially with those pinks and yellows coming out. So, I don't want to go too crazy here. Um, just a little bit of upgrades every once in a while. And we are set to go. Now, we're again 20 rounds away from balloon areas. So, how should you decide when to stop with your banana farms? In my opinion, you should stop with your banana farms about 15 rounds before uh, the boss balloon's going to come, okay? And this is this is why. Because it takes about 10 to 12 rounds for your banana farms to pay for themselves. So if, for example, we stop at round 30, we'll actually not have as much money as if we just didn't build banana farms at all. So it's better for us to stop early and just build up a huge conglomerate of money in our favor over here. So what I'm going to do is I've got four banana farms. I feel pretty good about that. I'm going to start doing other things with my money. And the number one thing is, well, get your hero going. So that, look at that. We already lost some lives, but it's not a big deal. It, it just doesn't matter. Now we're going to get our hero going, and we're going to be a very happy person. All right, guys, we have less than five rounds until the boss appears. So we have to discuss just really quickly, how do you pop the boss balloon? Well, the number one thing you got to keep in mind is the best way to pop it itself is going to be with... Things that have a lot of projectiles or shoots very quickly. Examples, Super Monkey, Plasma Monkey, Dartling Guns, Tack Shooters, um, things of that nature. Anything with a lot of projectiles is going to be very, very good for you. So the number one thing I'm going to recommend to you, because this is going to help you for the rest of the game, is going to be this tower right here. What we're going to do is we're going to put our Tack Shooter kind of right next to all of my other towers here. And we're going to build a bottom path. Overdrive, and we're going to say, you know what? Tax on $20,000. That's pretty expensive here, but we're close. Okay, I'd rather take my chances here, and I'd rather save up my money, get ready to get this guy, even if it requires selling our towers or selling a farm. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to sell a farm here. We're going to buy our tax zone. Now, in addition, we're going to get that faster shooting and faster firing over here. And with all that extra juicy money we're going to be earning over here, we're going to try to upgrade him just a little bit with a village. Now you're noticing right now what's going on. He's shooting out a bunch of balloons against us. He's also got a health bar up here. And every single time you get to one-fourth of his health, 
he's going to release a big chunk of death at you. All right. Right now, just kind of crappy, regular, stupid blobs of swamp, I guess. And uh oh, here we go. A huge rush is coming out against us right now. This guy's doing great. We're going to go for the bigger radius. Oh, another rush is coming out. We're actually popping him too quickly here. Another rush is just about to pop out right now. All right, we're going to go for the jungle drums on these guys. And the last rush is coming out. We're going to use Captain Churchill's ability here to clean up the rest of these balloons. You can tell the tack zone was just absolutely beautiful for us. And the first level of balloon areas has been defeated. Now, the second boss uh, level of balloon areas is going to appear in just 18 rounds. That's not that much time. So we need to farm all of our money from the next basically seven or eight rounds here is going to go straight into farms. Everything. All right. Now, if at any point you lost lives, uh, I would actually recommend my favorite personal is the marketplace. Uh, I think they're pretty gosh darn efficient and they give you lives back and you can actually get extra lives from them if you're allowed to use monkey knowledge like you are these. So why the heck wouldn't you get marketplaces, man? They're pretty great. Banks are, are okay too if you want to be pretty adventurous with it all, but personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's that important. So previously I told you that if you're struggling against a boss blood, for example, the first one and the last one in particular, you definitely want to stop with your farms at least 10 rounds before, preferably 15 rounds, or even better, probably about 17 rounds or so. I think it's like the max amount that you want to get. But right now, I feel pretty confident in my ability, okay? I want to build a few more things, but right now I think I'm going to get at least one more of these banana farms going, even though there's only five rounds to go, because I already have my really, really good tax zone that I'm pretty confident that he's going to do just about everything that I need to do. So Blunarius throws out kind of a lot of stuff, right? A lot of group balloons. He sent out a bunch of ceramics against us just recently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for something that deals with a lot of group balloons pretty well. That's going to be a top path, the glue gunner, the balloon solver. Now we're not going to have him just yet for round 60 here. So in addition, for now, for the time being, what I want to do is I want to get a bottom path cannon. Right, we're going to go for a corrosive cluster with uh, bigger bombs and heavy bombs. And if we need to, we'll build one more cannon. If not, I'm going to just start saving up my money. All right, you can always play things by ear because it's a pretty slow process. You've got abilities to go and everything. So we went from 20,000 on the first balloon areas to 75,000 on the second balloon areas. Just like that. In addition, they're sending out bigger chunks of yellow blooms and everything against us. But you can tell, as far as health is concerned, I mean, Taxone's doing a pretty great job. You know, I have no issues whatsoever. He's just getting drained, and he's right on top of it right now. The first big chunk of balloons is going to pop out right now. Big chunks of ceramics. Luckily, I've got my cannon here. Hopefully, it's going to be enough for us. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to get rid of my cannon. I'm going to get my balloon solver. All right, now is the time to get it. We're going to go for stronger glue in addition. Now, I feel really confident that the group balloons will easily be taken down by my solver. And don't forget, I've also got camera detection, and I'm going to go for my primary mentoring here, so I'm just set. All right. Oh, boy, am I set. I feel good. That's two sets down, halfway dead already. And this guy is still kind of getting hit at this point. It's good. Uh-oh, Taxone's not really hitting him right now. It's mostly just Churchill doing the damage. It's okay. He's going to loop around still. He's damaged very much so. Second star balloon Arius. Um, not too bad. All right. Here's our last big rush of balloons, though. Can we take it down? And there's Moab's coming out on round 64 here, too. Woo! Crazy. All right, let's do another farm. It's time, guys. We've got to. All right, let's blow him up with Churchill's ability here. Oh, that's a good amount of damage right there. Churchill, baby. You're doing solid work. Thank you, my little friend. And that is going to take down Blunarius level two. No problems whatsoever. We get 50 extra monkey money, and we got 15 more rounds only until we have to fight it again. You're noticing that took us five full rounds to take him down. All those rounds just continuously come out against us, kind of like Apopolis. Very well made. I gotta say, Ninja Kiwi, uh, if you... I don't think you could have made boss balloons any any more cool or fun or anything. I mean, like, they're not the best thing ever, but, like, you did a good job with what you had, you know? Great job. So I'm gonna stop with my farms on round 77 here. I've got eight, uh, eight of these guys going for me. I feel pretty good about that. Um... And now what I need to do is I need to start thinking long-term. What are going to be the towers they are going to be, like, absolutely professional against this Balloon Arius Tier 3, 4, and 5? The number one thing is I want to play it safe. You know, I'm more of a safety guy than a lot of other people. I want to get a perma spike. All right, I think there's no other way to do it. I have a delicious safety net in the back here. If they ever run over this thing, 
you know things are pretty much hitting the fan here. Now I'm putting him over here because I actually want some spikes to be over here in the front just in case I have like a secondary spot to attack him if he really is sneaking far back. But we should... I don't think we're going to get the money for the perma spike until probably round 80 when he actually shows up here, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, lad, we easily got him for round 79 here, and the boss balloon is just about to appear after this probably two reinforced BFBs coming out. Yeah, all right, he's going to come out. Now, another tower that I got here is going to be my sticky bomb. He's going to specifically aim the balloon areas every single time, explode him, and hopefully do a lot of damage. In addition, I've got my perma spike back here, but I really haven't gotten that much. I still have a lot of my money invested in farms over here. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to say, you know what? We've only got 350,000 health here. That shouldn't be too bad for us because our tax zone is going to do most of it, but not all of it, guys. It's only going to get more difficult from here, though. We went from 20,000 to 75,000 to now 350,000 health. That is a big chunk of change difference here. So let's use our abilities. Plus, don't, keep, don't forget, we've also got a bunch of rounds coming out on top of this. All of the other rounds that are going to that already exist are going to keep coming out against us. It's pretty insane, but I'm going to greet it out anyways. I'm going to go for another banana farm. Because look at that, we're already down 20,000 health here. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. All right. Uh, I think the next thing that I want to do is I think I want to start saving. I think I want to go for my Master Bomber. I think reaching anywhere on the screen with your Master Bomber is just going to be great. And don't forget, we're making all this delicious money while all of this is going on. But rounds are also happening. We might even have to fight things like DDTs while we're fighting this Blunarius. It's a long-term thing, all right? That's why you got to think long-term for these guys. All right, Master Bomber coming up soon. He's going to be a great amount of damage for us. And then there's one tower that I think is going to be the clear winner for Tier 4 Blunarius. All right, Master Bomber is in existence. You're going to see this guy. All right, he's releasing Moabs this time. Not just silly little ceramics, it's my webs, but that's not a big deal for us. The Bloom Solver's actually taking care of most of that stuff over here. All right. Uh, now he's on top of the tax zone here. Great, great, great damage. And it's time. We're going to get ready for our fourth tier tower over here, which is going to be a middle path mad. All right. Right now he's not doing that much. I'll be the first person to admit it. All right. He's just kind of chilling. He's kind of in existence here, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, we're going to... Uh, you know what? Let's get some more farms. We have the money. Let's get the farms. Oh, God. Did they stop with the music already? It feels like we're losing. But we're already halfway done. It's actually feeling pretty good for, pretty good right now. Uh, it's just weird that we're on round 86. It's been over six rounds that he's been in existence for. By far the slowest moving blue in existence. By far. They must have had to make a new percentage for the balloon to move this slow. He's coming back around to the tax zone again, which is, again, my favorite tower for popping any of these balloons. Tell he's already got half a million pops over here. Um, not just against this guy, but against all balloons so far. So he's been doing great. And don't forget, Churchill's been doing a great job, too. 200,000. This guy's already got 152,000, even though we just put him out recently. All right, we're going to have a big chunk of stuff coming out right now. Another big chunk of Moab's coming in here. Throwing him out kind of on my perma spikes there. They do easily die. And now this guy should hopefully... Kind of just get perma spiked to death almost. All right, we're going to go greet it again. We're going to go for the monkey wall street here. And DDTs are going to be popping out any second, though, so we're going to have to start getting ready for everything that we need to do. We're not going to have much more um, uh, tax zone damage anymore. So we're going to have to rely on this pretty much entirely. All right. Just about dead. 10,000. Come on, take him down. Take him down. 4,000. Right when the DDTs are coming out here. Get, get rid of them! Get rid of them! 3,000! 1,000! And... Dead! Alright, beautiful. Beautiful. Right when the DPs are coming out and we get tier 3 popped. We only have 10 more rounds now, though, before level 4 comes out. Holy crap, Ola. Alright, I'm gonna greed just a little bit more here because we still have to worry about tier 5. So I'm gonna go for one more um, grouping of these guys. I feel pretty confident with our, our overall defense against regular balloons. The only thing that's going to be difficult is obviously the boss balloons here. So around 95, I still think this has got to be one of the best towers in the game for popping Blunarius. It's going to be the mad, all right? Massive quantities of damage here. You also want to make sure you get the... Uh, I, would, I would still suggest the powerful darts 
Usually the laser shock is better against a single target, the powerful darts is better against multiple targets. In this situation, there's going to be a lot of balloons on the screen, so I still think multiple targets is something we have to keep in mind here. And the next tower that I want to get is kind of a weird one. We want to go for a spike factory. And we're going to put him actually closer to... We're going to throw him like in the middle of the map as... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw him in the front over here. No, I'm not. I wanted to get him in the range of the village. Let's put him in the range of the village here, guys. I know I'm changing my mind. It doesn't really matter that much, but I just want to make sure he's spraying in the right areas. So we're going to go for the carpet of spikes. I'm going to get this bigger stacks and white hot spikes just because I feel like it more than anything. And this will kind of keep us in the game here just doing massive quantities of damage against literally everything coming out now instead of just uh, blue areas as well. Another tower that I'm going to highly recommend to you guys has got to be the Bob Limb. Uh, massive quantities of damage. Again, it is another ability that you do have to activate over here, but it's going to be powerful. Now, I still feel like, yes, we have to deal with round 100 Lunaria Swamp, but we're also going to have to deal with all free play rounds. Mm, on round 101, that's DDTs up the wazoo. That's everything up the wazoo, so we're going to have to deal with those guys as well. Well, we need some group popping power still. So we're going to go for... Uh, two other towers here that are kind of weird, but I still think are going to be pretty effective for us. All right, I think I'm going to have to build a second primary village up here. It's kind of a waste, to be honest, but, uh, you know, at this point, that amount of money doesn't really matter that much. But we're going to go for a, uh, just to kind of get rid of the balloons really, really quickly, we're going to go for an Inferno Ring over here. All right, round 99, guys. Woo! Inferno Ring coming out. We're going to go for the more tax and even more tax. You have to go for it. Round 100, here it is. Another swamp is coming out. We're gonna need more money. All right, we're just gonna do like a few more banana farms. But you can tell now that we've got our like real setup here going for us, it is not gonna be as big of a deal. All right, that's 50,000 health down just like that. 60, 70,000 just like that. But we are only about doubling our health this time. We went from three to 50,000 to 750,000 compared to um, Almost quadrupling, and then quadruple, more than quadrupling. Let's make sure we keep using our abilities here, hopefully. And the first set is just about to pop out here. Alright. Let's see it. How we doing? He's popping out! Oh my god's against us! Oh, dude, are they popping over here? Oh, that would be like cheaters. That would be like cheaters, oh my god. Now they're popping out at least up here. That's not too bad. All right, only, again, only double, but we do have to deal with free play rounds here. So the faster we take him down, the better off we will be. 100%. Now, the random zebra is just popping out all over the screen here. Uh, still looking pretty good, I'd say. Almost halfway done, and he's definitely only one-fifth through the map here. So definitely going to kill the blue Darius, as long as the natural blues don't get through our defense in the meantime. Come on, baby, come on. Get it going. Use every single ability we got here. Just keep them coming. More than halfway dead already. And this is just a non-issue for us. You can tell we farmed properly. We did a good job. And we're going to take this puppy down. All right. The last quarter here is coming up. I'm going to wait for my Mads ability until that pops out. I keep on using my abilities. Let's wait for it. Wait for it. Get ready for it. And all right. Zoma gods are popping out. We're going to throw it up. Oh, no. They're not actually out yet. Not until they, like, come down. So I kind of wasted my mad ability a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but it, it was kind of stupid. I, I wasn't exactly a huge fan of that. All right, it's got 100,000 health left. 80, 70, 60. It's just getting drained here, guys. Getting drained. He's got nothing on us. 15, 13, 3, and he is dead. There we go. So we get 100 monkey money just for that. We've got 15 more rounds to build up our defense. And now it's time for us to shine. Tier 4 has been popped. Fantastic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some good juicy stuff. Now the one thing that I haven't shown you guys today is the Apex Plasma Master and the Glaive Dominus. Are they good towers to actually use in this? You know what? They're really not bad. But I want to save I want to save that for a different video because I'm not 100% certain that they're going to be super effective. All right? Uh, I think it might not be worth the money, basically. You know? Like, yeah, sure, they're probably going to be good. But 
could do a better job with six hundred thousand dollars worth of other towers rather than that one single tower trying to do everything, you know? So I think it's a safer bet to build a multitude of towers than just building one tower that's supposed to be all powerful, you know? If that makes any sense. So we're gonna go for a bottom path, Legend of the Night over here. Realistically, a Dark Champion's probably good enough. But I kinda like the idea of the Dark Champion, because if anything does sneak through, we don't lose. And that's just a nice safety net to have, guys. But we're not gonna uh, keep you guys here. Let's jump to 120. All right, guys, it's around 119 right now, so we're going to try to get you guys set up and ready for round 120. I currently have $180,000 right now. I was able to get my perma brew going. I was able to overclock a lot of my, uh, or overcharge, really. Ultra boost, sorry. Um, my Mad, I think he's going to be one of my best towers for me. I was able to get a Dark Champion, but not a Legend of the Night. And I decided against the uh, uh, Legend of the Night for now, for now being the keyword. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to change my, my mind on that, but what I want to do instead is I actually want to get a uh, uh, pretty close to the top of the map here. I actually want to go for a top path super mines. Now, we went from 750,000 to 3 million. This is really, no joke, the prime of everything. All right. This is what it all comes down to. Everything we got is right here. All right, let's go. Now, another thing that you're going to want to think about is, do you want to sell your farms? It's a great question. And I would say, wait just a little bit. All right, you're going to be making money here for the next few rounds. It's not going to be a significant amount of money, but it's going to be some money. So I would say, wait until you actually need it, or wait until you decide that you need, well, Legend of the Night, man. If you need to, pop them out there. And in addition, with all that extra money there's going to be gaining for the next few rounds here, we can uh, uh, kind of sell it at our leisure whenever we feel like it's the right time. Like, for example, I just decided, you know what I want to get, guys? I want to get a freaking Wizard Lord Phoenix. So let's get a Wizard Lord Phoenix. All right, every single ability here is going. To be aiming balloon areas here. Here's the first set coming out. What's gonna? It's gonna be bad balloons. Holy crap, Nuggets! This really is a five-star level here, guys. Imagine the bad balloons that are gonna be coming out of here. They're gonna be coming out in the very back of the map, man. Woo! Hot diggity dog. All right, but he's definitely still getting drained over here. We're gonna use our Wizard Lord Phoenix. Oh my God, I can't even do it. I have to click the ability here. Woo! That's got to be a lot of damage, though. Oh, yeah, looking juicy. Even if it just gets rid of a lot of the other blooms coming in here. Okay, we got $87,000 again. What do we want to do with it? I don't know, man. I don't know. There's no towers that I'm just, like, really, really into right now. Uh, we're currently at around 123. All right, what I'm going to do is something a little bit weird here. I'm going to go for a Zar Bomba. Not because I think it's going to do much damage against this, but if anything does actually hit the fan here, we're going to have just a safety net on top of the safety net here. It's going to be ready to go. So he's only about a quarter through the map right now, and he's got almost half of his health gone. So I'm pretty confident we're going to be good against this guy. All right, let's go. This is level five. Blunaria Swamp right now, just about halfway done. And it's time, guys. We're going to get rid of all these farms. Now that he's halfway done, ready to go, we're going to go for the Legend of the Night here. There he is. Any extra money, we can do whatever we want with it. I'm trying to micro to the best of my ability here, but I'm definitely not the best microer. I'm a better planner. More bad balloons coming out here. And we're going to use our mad ability. Basically, I should use my mad ability every single time those bads are going to pop out here. It's just the way it should go down. All right, I have not been using this guy either because it's not a number. I usually use hotkeys for mine. Okay, every ability, man. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Now, the mad could also be used against a lot of the mobs and everything just to kind of get rid of them here. Because this is around 124 at this point. Don't forget about that. Okay, let's overclock our mad. Keep that damage coming. You can look at the damage right here, man. It is significant. Every ability, mad. Oh, I used my mad ability a little too early there. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt. Well, let's hope it comes back. Nah, we're popping them fast. We're popping them fast, boys. It's just got it's got to be what it's got to be. Maybe we can get our Wizard Lord Phoenix going up instead. 
Where's Lord Phoenix? That'll help us out against Bads. Not a bunch, but enough. It's not like they're nearing the end right now, and it's looking overall pretty, pretty good. I'm actually going to move this guy a little bit closer. And we're going to overcharge our mad again. And I'm going to speed this up. I feel good. I feel real good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take it down to level five, baby. Take him down. All right, Wizard Lord Phoenix again. Wish I had the number for that. Number like 14 or whatever. We got a lot of abilities here, guys. A lot of abilities. Move this guy back just a little bit further. It's going to be my cleanup. All right, only 160,000 health left. This is no problem for us, guys. Oh, I'm missing with my mad. 50,000. 20,000. 2,000. And zero. We take down the tier 5 Blunarius. He has been defeated. Get out of my house. And there is. We defeated him. We get... A Blunarius Icon, $125, 30 trophies. We get this tech bot here and a 300 monkey. All right. You can just play again. Just, <laughs> just like that. Just done. Play again. All right. So here it is. Now that we've beaten Blunarius, the Inflator Awakens. What unlocks here is the elite version of Blunarius. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? You get 100 monkey money. 100 monkey money, 150 monkey, 200 monkey money, and 250 monkey money on top of all this awesome stuff over here. Holy crap. Now you play on medium on standard. This is going to be a fun one when we finally get to this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, press that like button for me and have a super duper delicious day.